Blink twice and you might miss this surprising fact. Did you know that a mere 10% increase in inbreeding can lead to a 6% reduction in an adult dog's shoulder height and decrease its lifespan by 6 to 10 months? That's right. Inbreeding, the process of mating closely related dogs, can significantly impact the health of the offspring and the breed as a whole. Now, when it comes to measuring inbreeding, two methods come to the forefront, the genetic coefficient of inbreeding and the pedigree calculated coefficient of inbreeding. At first glance, these might seem interchangeable, but they are as different as night and day. The genetic coefficient of inbreeding is the modern kid on the block. It directly examines genetic markers to assess the level of inbreeding. This method is specific to each dog, and the coefficient can even vary within a litter. That's right, each puppy in a litter can have a different inbreeding coefficient. On the other hand, the pedigree calculated coefficient of inbreeding is the old school method, comparing pedigrees to estimate inbreeding levels. This method makes assumptions about unrelated ancestors and may not reflect the true extent of inbreeding. So, while the pedigree calculated coefficient paints with a broad brush, the genetic coefficient of inbreeding is like a finely tuned instrument, offering a detailed analysis of each individual dog's genetic makeup. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter to me? Well, understanding these coefficients can be a game changer in your breeding programs. Dogs with high inbreeding coefficients are more prone to health issues and shorter lifespans. By understanding and applying these coefficients, you can make informed decisions, promoting robust health and longevity in your breed. Remember, there is no clear threshold for a good or bad inbreeding coefficient. It's all about context and comparison. Databases like the Rhodesian Ridgeback Health Database can be a valuable resource in this regard. And consider this, specific health issues, such as early onset adult deafness in Rhodesian Ridgebacks, is a genetic problem. By incorporating genetic analysis into your breeding program, you can better understand and manage these health risks. In the end, it's about more than just numbers on a page. It's about the health and well-being of our beloved canine companions. So consider the genetic coefficient of inbreeding and the pedigree calculated coefficient of inbreeding as two tools in your toolkit. Use them wisely and you can help ensure a bright, healthy future for your breed.